Good day, everybody. This is Chris with the Ancient Scholar. This is a quick update to a video that I just uploaded. The video is uh, Radiation Terminology and Units Paramedic. This is in the Paramedic uh, Class 2017 playlist for some of the study videos for, for that class. Um, in this particular video, I had stated that the tritium, when tritium decays, it releases light. And um, I, had, uh, I think I'd implied in that lecture that the light is emitted at uh, visible wavelengths. That's actually not technically the case. So just, just to clarify what happens with tritium. So what happens with tritium is tritium decays and it releases uh, much higher energy um, particles uh, than that. Uh, energies that, 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 that can't be seen. Uh, the reason that we can typically see tritium decay in things like, like gun sites, for example, is what, what we typically do is we coat uh, a glass vial, we coat it with a, a phosphor, and when those particles hit the phosphor, um, the phosphor absorbs that energy, electrons in the phosphor go to higher energy levels, and then as those electrons fall down to lower energy levels, they release energy uh, that will light electromagnetic magnetic waves at wavelengths that can be seen. So the tritium itself does not decay at visible um, wavelengths, uh, uh, does not release light or photons at vis visible wavelengths, but rather it is the phosphorus releasing um, a light at visible wavelengths. And it, the phosphorus is, of course, um, excited by the decay of the tritium. So. Hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully there wasn't too much confusion in the radiation terminology video uh, paramedic from uh, earlier. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there.